and welcome to Great Day at 9 a.m. on this Monday. Hi. Hi. I'm Hi. Nicole Maletha. I'm Scott Haney. And we had so much fun Friday night. We did. It was it so was great, great to hang with you. It was so fun to hang with yeah, you, too. Yeah, it was good to see you. Now, I have to tell you, we, we took some photos. We did. Uh, we had a lot of fun meeting people from all over. Southington, West Hartford, <laughs> Enfield. This is a good photo of us. There we are out on the dock. There's Marty from the Old Seabrook Rotary. And just so you know, this event was the Rotary Wine and Beer Tasting. It raises money for scholarships all along the area. And also, it raises money for some third world efforts. Which is incredible. Which is great. I dreamt last night about a well. Did you really? I swear to God. Well, last year we raised money for a well in, in Uganda. Uganda. And Incredible. there's an actual plaque there that says that, you know, how, where it came where from. Where it came from, yeah. which is really cool. But it was so nice meeting everyone, hanging yeah, out. Yeah, it was so good. And Packed. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what the final account of how many people were there and how much money was raised. Stay tuned for that. But yeah, there was like an overflow, an overflow outside, outside other and thank rooms. God the weather cooperated. Oh, it was such a nice evening. Yeah. But I did want to say, you know how we took a picture yes. on the docks pointing to where my yacht goes? Yes. People really thought I had a yacht, and that's where it was going. <laughs> so, including friends and family members who were texting me over the weekend and if saw the picture yacht, on social media. I, want the end, I don't right? have a yacht, guys. It's yeah, just a joke, a, unfortunately. Just a joke, <laughs> All right, you know what's not a joke is the weather. It's just fan, it's shaping up to be a fantastic oh day. Oh my God! Finally, right? Finally, it, it is happened to me. Right? Oh, yeah. oh, that's very Ooh. good. I love that. First alert: live radar scans of state dry. First alert: future cast. Tomorrow's weather today shows us abundant sunshine. There might be a couple of clouds around in southeast Connecticut as a, another weak little system goes by late tonight through very early tomorrow morning, but then that goes away. And tomorrow is yet another exceptional day of weather here in the state, which is some good news. So for the rest of today, we're talking about temperatures in the upper 60s, low 70s with abundant sunshine. And let's give you that three-day forecast. We're talking about mostly sunny skies, warmer temperatures today than yesterday. Look at that, 72, 70 for the uh, mm. Amazing. Tuesday, tomorrow, mostly sunny, mild. And then Wednesday, clouding up, but it'll cloud up late, and we're expecting showers in the evening, uh, not during the daytime hours. So that looks pretty salvageable as well. And then we go into a little bit of an unsettled weather pattern there after, uh, through the beginning of the weekend, at least with some scattered showers. Not a washout, but there will be some scattered showers around for good measure. I'm so happy all the kids returning back to school after April break are going to like get some gorgeous weather outside. Absolutely. And celebratory t in events for parents and teachers <laughs> exactly. alike, right? <laughs> All right, now the Connecticut Blood Center is hoping a donation drive for Connecticut Children's helps get more people to donate. Yeah, both groups are teaming up to help reverse a decline in donations. Every time someone donates blood this week, the Blood Center will donate $1 to Connecticut Children's. Hmm. And officials tell us that there is currently a shortage of O negative, which is called the universal donor, because anyone in need can use that blood. So you can find out some yeah, more information. I think I'm O something. I'm O positive. I think I'm O positive too. Okay. Yeah. We're we're pretty universal for the most we're part. Not as rare as O negative, but we can help out. We go together. Yeah. Like, like shana na 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 na. <laughs> we don't hang out enough, you know. Uh, but if you do want to learn more about this drive and how you can donate to Connecticut Children's, it's on our website, the WFSB app. Absolutely. Because uh, I'm the tax man. Yeah, you got the Beatles going on. <laughs> it's tax day today. Oh. So you need to file today or you need to file an extension by 11.59.59 p.m. Yeah, if you don't pay what you owe or don't file, you could have to pay up even more in fees. You don't want to do that either. No, anyone can request a free automatic six-month extension by going to the IRS website that gives you until October 15th to file your federal wow. return. Now, some people who owe money can also qualify for interest-free payment plans, but you have to request those as well. You can check out the withholding estimator on our website to help you prepare for next year. So you, if you find out that you're owing too much, maybe you can do something to help uh, prevent that from happening next year. Yeah. I know. I'm like filing zero. Or if you get too much back, you don't want the government having all of your money where you could have it. You could be <laughs> investing it in the meantime. Invest in a nice 529 if you're a parent out there. Yeah. That's for college, college savings, savings for your kids. Absolutely. And there's a lot of tax day deals that are actually taking place today. Kona Ice Chill Out Day at Highland Park Market. Oh, good. Krispy Kreme. Love Krispy Kreme. Um, they're offering a buy one, get one for just the cost of sales tax. Which is really cool. That is really That's cool. That's really incredible. I would eat a dozen donuts today I if there was one, there's one close by. Good thing there isn't, though. 
though, right? <laughs> All right, the Boston Marathon just started a few minutes ago. Yeah, but one of the most iconic symbols of the race needed a spotlight yesterday. Yeah, oh, wasn't really this great. the best it was a story? Great story? Look at all these good boys and girls. <laughs> dozens and dozens of golden retrievers and their owners met in Boston Common to honor the memory of Spencer, who was the official Boston Marathon dog. Remember Spencer? He was well known for holding a flag in his mouth, reading Boston Strong, and that was all along the marathon route for years. And after multiple bouts with cancer, Spencer sadly died last year, but these pups are surely keeping his memory alive. Oh my God, That's so awesome. adorable. Oh Look at gosh. all those golden retrievers, Aww. some young, some old, they're all having a party. And they're also bringing a lot of awareness, I was reading, to canine cancer, too. Oh, good, absolutely. In, in honor of Spencer, so. That's terrific. All in all, just such a great day. Yeah, good luck to all the runners. Yeah, 128th year. Woo! All right, coming up.